Uh, what's up? It's great to see you guys again. Today in this tutorial we are going to make the pattern here and we are going to find the option for that. So we need to go to the object. So here under object menu we have the pattern that is going to help us to create all the pattern. We are going to make this pattern using this option under object menu so we're going to first make make our shape to do that we need to click on the ellipse so here i'm going to make this type of ellipse so let me make that to a stroke so here i'm going to unfill it and also we are going to click on edit and click on copy and we're going to paste in place so by holding alt and shift we are going to scale this up here and also what we are going to do we are going to select these two and go to the before we are going to use this uh, let me make more copies so we are going to make another copy here paste in place alt and shift we are going to just scale this so we're going to select everything and i'm going to change the color something like let's go with the black so i'm going to select everything Control g so let me increase the stroke size so i think here we have to fix this by holding alt and shift we're going to scale this so now we are going to select everything control G now we need to go to the object so here we have this uh, pattern and click on make so when you click at that so the first message here Adobe Illustrator which is going to show up the new pattern has been added to the swatches panel any changes made while in pattern editing mode will be applied to the swatch upon exit so if you don't want to see this message uh, you need to check this don't show again this message so we don't want to do that so i'm going to click ok so here on the top i can give it a new name so it's new pattern sex so on the tile type you can go with the grid you can select this break by row break by column hex by column hex by row so in this drop down menu so if you select this break and break by column and rows so here you can see the break offset so you can go with uh, 3 forward slash 4 you can go with this 4 forward slash 5 so you can select any offset from this uh, drop down menu for the break by rows and also you can select that for the column as well so here you have all the um, offset uh, in this drop down menu so you can select this three uh, forward five you can go with two forward five you can select any uh, offset from this menu but i'm going to select only this grid so here i can change the width and also i can change the height for this pattern so here let me use my arrow keys on my keyboard so i'm going to add the value here as you can see I can add the weight or I can add the high as well here so we have two more options we have the size tile to the art so we are going to select that so when you select that as you can see the edge is the horizontal spacing is going to show me here and also this vertical spacing so now I can add the horizontal spacing here and also I can add the vertical spacing and also here we have this move tile with art so if you want to move tile with art so make sure you check this one so here we have more option for the overlap but we didn't see any overlap with my shape so we have to overlap so we are going to uh, decrease the number of horizontal spacing so now we have overlap here and also for vertical we are going to do the same thing from the top and from the bottom so here uh, we have this overlap 
so when as you see the overlap here so now you can change the overlap options so now you can select this left in front you can select this left in front so i'm going to select that as you can see when you are going to select these two definitely it's going to change here let me show you i'm going to cancel this for now so here we're going to fill this with a color so i can show you the overlap here and also for this one we're going to add a color and also for this one because it was all lines so that's why you we uh we didn't see any overlap here so we're going to click on this pattern and click on make click on ok so here we're going to size style to the R so we're going to remove the horizontal spacing here so, so now we have this overlap here and also from the top and bottom we need this overlap so here for this overlap option so if I want to select this as you can see is going to change for my shape and also I can change that from top and frown so I can go with this or this one so this is how you can change all these uh, all this uh, overlap options over in this pattern options panel so here you can set the copies you can go with uh, 7 multiply by 3 you can go with 7 multiplied by 5 so you can select the number of copies you want to make here and also we have this dim copies so dim copies is something that you can set uh, on base of percent so you can set that all around this original one to this uh, dim to this 20 percent so you can set that 100 percent so you can set the opacity here i am going to select this 70. so here we have this show tile edges so if you uncheck that so there is no tile edges is going to show but if you check this one show swatch bones so it's going to show you here and if you want to change the tile edge color so you need to click on the top so here we have this tile edge color or what you can do is that you can go to this pattern so here we have the same tile edge color that you can change uh, from here as well so I'm going to select that to something like a green so now we have this and we need to click on done if you want to make another copy from this so you are going to click a save a copy and it's going to save on this swatches panel and if you click on the done also it's going to save over here and if you want to edit that simple you're going to click double click at that if you didn't see the options for that so you need to go to the object under pattern so here we have the show options or you can use the shortcut which is chef plus control plus f8 so we are going to click at that so we have the same pattern options panel on the top we have one more thing which is path tile option if you just click at that so here as you can see i have this so you can increase the size if you uncheck this so now you can't actually move this you can move but if you going to select that so only the shapes that is under here you can select them and you can move them around you can make them something look like this so now we have the pattern so we are going to click on done so here i'm going to delete this one so let me make my background shape and we're going to apply this pattern to this background so here as you can see we have this pattern so now you can select this pattern and you can use it for different purpose here with your illustrator so this is how you are going to make the pattern with adobe illustrator under object menu so hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned how to make your own pattern with your illustrator and if you have any question please let me know in the comment box of this video and if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon as well so you don't miss any new update from our channel so see you guys in the next video